Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can start to make AI, artificial intelligence, generated images from prompts with a web GUI or Pythonically with a REST API. This only takes a few minutes to get going. It is completely free and local and private on your <coughs> computer. Even my dog's excited about it. I think that your family could start using this, your children, your parents, you yourself, your colleagues, even if you're not an artist. Have you ever wanted to be an artist and take what's in your mind, your idea of an image, but maybe you don't have the skills to draw that? Maybe you are in the creative field and want to make AI-generated images to support your work. This video is going to show you how to get started in a few different ways. There might be a little bit of programming, which I'm including on purpose to show you how easy it is to get going with this stuff. And we're also going to explore the world of how to do this with programming and code. Stay tuned, please like and subscribe, and please watch the rest of this video. Okay, so what you're looking at is a AI generated version of the killer rabbit of Kerbanog from Monty Python's Holy Grail. So how did I make this? And what are our options? I want to mention that this is the result of this Python script, which we'll get into in a little bit later. But I managed to make that image using a REST API into a framework known as Stable Swarm UI. So how do we get started? I do recommend a graphics card, an NVIDIA card or an AMD card, something with a GPU, all right? Now, I happen to have the luxury of having access to an RTX 4090, which is a very new card and a very potent card, but let me show you how to get started. So it's going to have this nice UI where you just type in your prompt and hit generate, and now you start to have images and however many copies of that image you wanna create. We can download different models and load them in here. And I'm gonna show you that step. But first, let's get inst installation going. This is going to be for Windows. There are Linux and Mac installation guides. This will be for Windows. There is an install, bat uh, install windows.bat file that it's going to complain because it is a bat file, but you wanna go ahead and just download that um, so if we go to the settings here and say keep, show more, keep anyway, it's going to be downloaded. Now don't click on open file. Do not click on open file. Click on the folder and move this file, let's say cut, into something like C Swarm. So you're going to paste it into C Swarm and double click this file. It will do the installation. As part of this installation, it's going to install two required libraries uh, a Windows Toolkit and Git. These are totally safe. If you don't trust this file, you can scan it with a virus scanner online to be sure. It's going to create this stable swarm UI folder. Now there is a launch for Windows um, that you can click on, launch Windows. I recommend that you make a shortcut and put the shortcut on your desktop. The other thing is there is a models folder, stable diffusion, and there is also an output folder, local raw. I would go ahead and make shortcuts to these as well so they're easily accessible from your desktop. Now, once it's installed, I'm gonna click away from this. Once it's installed, yeah, all right. And you have the shortcut on the desktop, you can launch Stable Swarm UI, all right? And I'm just gonna clean up something here. I have a redundant shortcut on my desktop here. So it's going to launch a command window in the background, and you can see that it's loaded on, um, you know, it's starting to load still. And once it's done loading, the little bar that says it's loading will disappear. Okay, so now it's all set and we're ready to go. Now you can see a bunch of my examples here, but let me just, Take back some screen space. On the left are all of the nerd knobs, let's call them. Seed and steps and scale and the size and resolution of the image and aspect ratio. Um, 
There are all kinds of different, you can choose an initialization image to start from, to do image to image. There is lots of great stuff in here. Okay, the refiner and the variation seed, the samplers, the schedulers, things that I'm not going to explore, but there are a ton of options to modify the output. Now, what we need are models. Okay, so how do we get some models? The first place I would start is Hugging Face and look for Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. This is the latest Stable Diffusion model. All right, and you're going to have to sign up for this model on Hugging Face and have an account on Hugging Face. But we go to Files and Versions, and there are different files, and you just download the model. Now, once you've downloaded the model, you want to move it out of your Downloads folder and put it inside of the Stable Diffusion Models folder inside of your Swarm UI folder. You made a shortcut earlier. I've downloaded the smallest one, the 4.3 gig model, but I've also downloaded the 15.8 gig model. Other places you can go to get models is civitai.com. Right? And if we start at the home page, we can go to models and filter on most downloaded by all time. And I also have a safe tensor SDXL filter. Now you can see Juggernaut XL is the most downloaded, most popular model of all time. It has a smaller version and a larger version, which I've downloaded. Click the little download here, move the model file into your models folder. Now that we have models, we can move into the, A, the UI and look at the models and make sure they're loaded. So under models here, right, you should have your three models or you can click the refresh button to rescan the folder. All right. Now that we have the models, you can just pick one and start prompting away with it. So let's hide this and we're going to use Juggernaut. And what we can say is, could I get a hyper realistic version of Tom Bombadil working in a data center. And we can choose, right, different options here, or we can just click on generate. Now, we're going to click on generate, and that should say center. I typed in that wrong. Center. Let's try it again. So there's Tom Bombadil, but he's not working in a data center. He's in the forest still. But look at how incredible and how realistic that is. So let's try it again, working in a data center. And you can see it diffusing, so to speak. And now look at the background change, right? Now, if I wanted to you know, zoom in on this, I can do it in the browser. But more efficiently is to go to your stable diffusion output, go to the latest date, and let's find this file. Right, and you can see how incredible this is. And let's zoom in a little bit on it. Right, he's got buttons. How many thumbs and fingers does he have? It looks like he's got one, two, three, four, and a thumb. This hand is a little messed up, but the data center and the racks kind of fade out. Incredible, right? Just by typing it in in the UI. Now, where did that go? Hang on a second. Let me go back to this. Okay, so. We've done it in the web UI, and we can adjust parameters to see, you know, maybe the number of steps. Let's crank this up to 54 and try to generate it again. You can see it takes longer, more steps, but is it a better image? It is quite a better image, right? And now that's automatically saved to my output folder. Okay, so now that we've done it here, I want to focus on the programmatic aspects. So under the Swarm documents, there is an API document, and it shows you how you can programmatically interface with this system. Okay, now remember, I have three models here. You can see the three models that I have. And I'm going to loop through them programmatically in this little script. So if I go to my Python code, I have this testing script where I have some logging. And I have my URL. Now it's going to be likely for you here, local host, and then the port number slash API slash get new session. 
Now, why it's not localhost for me is I'm running it from Ubuntu in my Ubuntu WSL instance. So I need to point to the Windows API where Windows is hosting the server, right? This command prompt is Windows. You can see C Windows, whereas I am in a terminal here in Ubuntu, all right? Now, if you're running this script from Windows, it will be localhost. I'm also going to look at moving this into a container type system. Okay, so this gives us a token. And then we need to take that token and pass the session ID along to the generate text to image API. Now, here I have that killer rabbit of Herbanog and the size and my model. Well, you can see here I have a list of models that I'm looping over to get three different images. Now I could specify the number of images to say five or 10 if I was building multiple images, but let's just generate one image. I'm then saving that image and using wget to get that image name prepended with the model. All right, so we're gonna generate the images and the image URL is gonna be printed on the screen. So we're going to run the script. And if we actually check the GPU out, you can actually see these models moving in and out of GPU and spiking the GPU resources as it's generating the images. So the first one would have been the Juggernaut. The second one would be Stable Diffusion Small. And the last one would be Stable Diffusion Large. And now we can actually take a look at these images as they're saved. And you can see, right, the API, all of the posting, all of the API work is successful. We're getting 200 status codes. And now if we look at the images, here is the juggernaut version of the image. Pretty scary with the jackknife and everything. Here is the small, the medium version. So it's got the hand grenade. It looks like the holy hand grenade in its hand there. So there's a nice reference but it's a soft squishy bunny. And then finally this larger version, sorry, this is the small version, this is the larger version. Pretty neat, the focus in the background, um, the shine in the eye, the texture on the fur, pretty remarkable work just from a prompt, right? So I'm gonna make this script open source. It's gonna be on my repository, this Python script here to get going locally with you know, multiple models, and I've shown you how to download them and get started.